Hello South Africa. Today is Monday, July 18, 2022 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Will the Cecil outage cause petrol or diesel shortages? All South Africa's refineries are now offline, after Cecil closed NatRef in Cecilburg following delays in the arrival of crude oil shipments at the Durban port. According to a report by Fin24, the company declared a force measure and said it won't be able to supply petroleum products. The company refines oil to produce petrol and diesel. Ramaphosa declares special official category 2 funeral for Jesse Duarte. President Cyril Ramaphosa has declared a special official category 2 for ANC Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte. Duarte lost her battle with cancer and passed away in the early hours of Sunday, July 17. Jesse Duarte was a longtime anti apartheid activist who served as special assistant to former President Nelson Mandela and struggle stalwart, Walter Sisulu. Weather warning for felt fires issued for parts of South Africa. A weather warning has been issued for parts of the country for Monday by the South African Weather Service, SOS. It warned of felt fire conditions from 10 o'clock on Monday until 20 hundred hours on Monday evening. Conditions are such that the fire danger index, FDI, is above 75. Under these conditions, fires may develop and spread rapidly, resulting in damage to property and possible loss of human and or animal life. Stated SOS. Boy drowns at the Kruger National Park. A child drowned and lost his life after jumping into a pool during a day visit at the Skukuza camp of the Kruger National Park. The incident took place on Saturday in the late afternoon, said South African National Parks, SAN Parks, the nine-year-old boy was a day visitor at the Skukuza camp. According to reports from the security officer, he noticed the boy's body floating in the pool while doing his patrols. What is a U.S. Air Force plane doing in Bloemfontein? Soldiers deployed. A U.S. Air Force plane caused recently caused a stir in Bloemfontein with many speculating if U.S. soldiers were deployed in S.A. to protect certain government officials. So is this true? The South African National Defense Force, SANDF, spokesperson Brigadier General Andries Mahopper, dismissed all speculation and rumors. The South African National Defense Force wishes to condemn in the strongest possible terms an article which appeared on the July 6, 2022 on Twitter stating that the U.S. military personnel who are in South Africa are here to protect certain government officials. This is the most ludicrous statement and is dismissed with the contempt it deserves. That this Twitter message is not worth a response. Said Brigadier General Andres Mahopper. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.